How simple, quick, and cheap to make decoupage on wood with an iron. Today I will show you how to make a decoupage technique with an iron. This is a very simple and inexpensive technique that is done very quickly. I used wooden coasters for glasses because the surface is small and flat. In this video you can see all the steps to make decoupage without wrinkles. The result is perfect and super smooth. Any beginner can learn decoupage in this tutorial. Making the product takes about half an hour. First of all, we prepare the material. We need wooden surface, sandpaper, paper napkin, brushes, varnish to protect the surface, acrylic paint, food plastic wrap, baking paper, and an iron. Step 1. Preparation of the object and sanding. The product that we will use for decoration is additionally processed and, if necessary, the wood is sanded with sandpaper so that the surface is completely smooth. Do not forget to clean the product with a cloth. Step 2. Painting with white acrylic paint. On the side where we will have the motif, we first paint the wood with white acrylic paint. This way we get a better intensity of the motive. I recommend using quality acrylic paint. Apply the paint evenly with a sponge or brush. The paint is applied better and more evenly with a sponge than with a brush. Allow the paint to dry for 24 hours. I blow dried it and since the paint is thin it only takes a few minutes and the white acrylic paint is dry. Step 3. Preparation of food plastic wrap. We continue to work and place the food plastic wrap on the white acrylic paint, which is twisted at the back so that the food foil is taut and does not wrinkle during further processing. Step 4. Preparing the motif. We continue the process by preparing a paper napkin. It consists of three layers. Separate and remove the two layers. Place the top layer with the motif on the food plastic wrap. Step 5. Ironing. Prepare a mini iron and heat it to the highest temperature and lightly polish the motif. If we are using an ordinary household iron, turn off the steam.
Then we place baking paper on a paper napkin and polish the motif even more intensively. This way the motif is not damaged. The foil melts due to the heat and becomes the glue or binder between the wood and the napkin. Step 6. Final Processing Tear off the paper napkin at the edges of the wood or cut it with snips, being careful not to damage the pasted motif. Sand the corner gently with sandpaper or a nail file. On the part where we sanded, remove the excess napkin. Take the back of the plastic wrap and peel it off. Place the baking paper again and iron it for a few seconds. We also polish the corner part and be careful not to burn ourselves with the iron. This mini iron is very handy and nimble when guiding on smaller surfaces. Step 7. Additional Protection If you wish, the motif can be additionally protected with decoupage varnish. You can use Mod Podge, which is very good quality. Leave the varnish to dry for 24 hours or dry it with a hair dryer. Step 8. Processing the reverse side. To make the product perfect, I will apply colored acrylic paint to the back of the wooden base, which I will also dry with a hair dryer. This wonderful and simple technique requires only half an hour of your time and you have an inexpensive but unique gift. I hope you enjoyed my easy tutorial. Thanks for watching the video. See you soon.